Greetings and salutations. I've been on TikTok now for four or five weeks. And um, so I've had a, a, a nice sample size of the ability to take in all of this phenomenal Chinese app has to offer. And uh, I'm a little uh, weirded out by a lot of it. Uh, I don't quite know what I've done to my algorithm um, as far as the things that pop up on my feed or whatever you want to call it. But there's several things that I have noticed that give me pause. So I've made a canonical listing of some of the things that um, I'm bothered by or I don't understand. And I'm going to go through them and share with you in hopes that perhaps you've seen some of the same uh, weird oddities and madness that I have. The number one thing that I noted was there's a lot of women out there with beards. And when I say beards, it could be any form of facial hair. Um, and I realize that uh, I guess some people have a proclivity towards um, more testosterone or whatever it is that makes them have hair. But the fact that they don't shave this or save up money to have it um, permanently removed boggles my mind because some of these people are uh, hideous creatures, uh, for lack of a better term. Um you know, a five o'clock shadow on a woman is no better than a full goatee. Um, <clears throat> it's it's kind of weird how uh, so many people don't seem to mind. Um, and, and there is a lot of, um, I think most of the weirdos on TikTok just don't seem to care because they get the likes and the comments and the subscribers and all. And I guess at some point it starts paying the money. So Perhaps um, having some kind of self-deprecation to that level um, is worth it for your financial gain, but good Lord. I, I saw this one woman the other day that was, uh, she, she had like everything through here was just a half an inch thick and dark, by the way, quite dark, like a cave, dark. Um, and she starts off by saying that, um, well, it's the day before my wedding day, and I'm thinking, and this is what you look like. The next day for her wedding day, she popped up and she had a five o'clock shadow. And <clears throat> it, it it pains me to feel that that guy's um, attracted to that, but to each their own, I suppose. The next thing I've noted is there's a lot of people out there who are looking to die with their pets. Um, I used to watch a, an awesome show. I don't even think it's on the air anymore called Fatal Attractions. It was on like A&E or History Channel or Animal Planet or something like that. And it was people that kept like bison and tigers and, you know, full grown chimps in their house and stuff and eventually died um, because the animals attacked them because they're wild animals and they do what they do. But there are a lot of people that have lynx and servals and ocelots and caracal or caracal or however you say that, but basically cats that are way, way bigger than should live in a house. And it seems that every time they post a video of these cats, the cats are, you know, grinning uh, with their teeth showing and very angry with their pointed ears and whatnot. And uh, I've I've had a, a small house cat, like, bite me and scratch me up um, before I punted it across the room for because I didn't do anything to deserve that. It just did what it did. So I can only imagine what a full-grown cat that weighs, you know, I figure these things got to weigh like 50 to 80 pounds. You know, they're, they're fairly large. I can only imagine what their claws feel like when they sink into your neck and start gnawing out vessels in your sleep. Um, but I, I don't want anything in my house that has to eat raw meat and uh, snarls at me whenever I go to pet it. So that's a no for me. That's a hard pass, as they say. I watched a horse chiropractic person the other day. It was a guy doing chiro chiropractic work on a horse. Uh, horses are very majestic animals and are uh, pretty cool muscular creatures. You don't really see a fat out of shape horse very often. Um, they're, they're born with good genetics. And uh, it was kind of weird that this dude was like stretching it out and cracking things on it. And uh, yeah, that was a little weird. Um, I am, however, on the flip side, very interested in farrier videos. I find that kind of fascinating. You know, that they go in and start trimming stuff and you're watching it and you're like, I wouldn't take any more off. And he takes another half inch off and you're like, oh, I'd definitely stop there and 
he's chiseling off another quarter of an inch and you're like, God, at some point there's got to hit like a nerve or something. But, uh, maybe I don't understand enough about hooves, the cloven hoof as it were. Uh, there's another, uh, common video and I'm not quite certain why people in prison have cell phones. This seems to me to be hopefully a violation of their prison rules, but, um, there's a lot of people showing us how to make prison food. And I'm sure I could whip up a beef Wellington uh, if I was in, you know, 23 hour lockdown every day, but no one cares to see that. No one cares to see that you can mix, you know, ramen and Doritos and uh, Sprite and make some concoction that looks disgusting and, and all that. And let's not even get into toilet wine where they basically get raw fruit and uh, let it ferment in a bag of God knows what, and then put it in a toilet to make wine. Like I'm not that interested in getting a buzz in prison enough to drink toilet wine. But then again, I guess, uh, if you have nothing better to do with your time then um, you know, doing some ceviche in your cell is, is perhaps something to pass the time, but blackheads, blackheads is another thing that seems very popular. Um, I don't know what you do to your skin to get blackheads, but people need to research what that is and stop. It's disgusting. Um, having just a myriad thing, a bunch of dots all over your face that someone has to take some weird little device and squeeze out. And how much time does that take? What is a dermatologist charging by the hour? That would, that would take forever because there's like seemingly 400 little dots all over your face, but that's quite disgusting. And I don't know why you would share that with everybody because, um, I don't see why anybody would care. Um, I don't like the fake voices that apparently um, when you type stuff up on your your video or whatever, you know, it, it um, reads it. And of course it can't understand abbreviations. So it sounds retarded. <clears throat> I don't like that. It's kind of dumb. Animal attacks. I enjoy the animal attacks and there's a lot of them. My feed apparently has uh, somehow garnered a bunch of Komodo dragon attacks which I think live down in like the Philippines or Malaysia or somewhere down in the South Pacific. Um, those things are very interesting and they seem to eat everything or they try to eat everything. Um, occasionally humans, but not very that very often. But, uh, and from what I've learned about them, <coughs> excuse me, they, uh, they swallow everything whole without chewing it. And then like the juices in their stomach dissolve everything. And then they have to spit up what's called a gastric pellet <coughs> from what I've read. And that's kind of disgusting, but kind of neat too. Because if they don't do that, then whatever they ate will half rot and it could cause infection and set in and it can hurt or kill them or whatever. But there's a lot of alligator crocodile attacks. Those are kind of fascinating, just ruthless animals. Um, I watched a alligator a couple of weeks ago attack another alligator and he just reached out and just bit the other alligator's leg clean off. And the other alligator was kind of like, Guess I got three legs now. I mean, he's just like totally cool, man. Like played it off. Um, he was like Henry Winkler in uh, Night Shift. Just man, just just played it cool, right? They're shooting, and it, you just played it cool, Chuck. Um, you know, so that that was neat. But uh, I think we need more human attacks. Um, people that are stupid enough to pet bears and and moose and stuff like that. Um, you know, Revenant style video footage. As many cameras as we have out there, there seems like there should be more of that stuff because. Uh, people in general are kind of dumb when it comes to petting animals and trying to feed them and whatnot. Um, you know, dolphin attacks, just anything. Like, let's get it going, you know. Um, I hate people that do things to try to get comments, you know. Um, ketchup, I refrigerate my ketchup. And it someone told me that I'm not supposed to and all this. What do you think? Comment below. And then all these dumb people just take the bait every time and they start commenting on it. And it's just so stupid. You know, so I, I says it on the package that you should refrigerate after opening. And blah, blah. No, it doesn't. And, blah. and I'm like, golly, people, you're just buying into their scheme of getting more likes and subscribers and, and all that crap. It's so stupid. Um, people that taste test food. You're not going to understand it if you're doing like balut or like, you know, the, the hundred year old eggs or weird like Asian street food like Andrew Zimmer or Anthony Bourdain used to try on their, on their shows. But if you're like, man, I'm going to try this new key lime pie Kit Kat and a Baja Blast Mountain Dew and see how it tastes. Like, it's going to taste great, man. <clears throat> it was made in a factory 
so that it would taste great. We don't care about your opinion of this because they're always, this is good. Really, tell us more. So I don't like that. People that can't load trailers, uh, back trailers. I've seen more $90,000 GMC Sierras backed into lakes and ponds than I care to remember. And people that try to drive ATVs and lawnmowers up onto like, you know, 37 degree ramps onto trucks and then they flip over backwards onto them and wonder why their back is broken and their C-spine is crammed into their face. You know, it, it, I, I don't get it, man. Like these toys are too expensive to not know what you're doing. You know, uh, that, that does provide a lot of comedy. You know, you don't lock in your fifth wheel or your gooseneck or something and you drive off and that thing slams down onto your truck, you know. It's kind of amusing to watch. It's like get, uh, watching a truck get hit by a train, you know, um, just kind of cool. Fast food cooking. There's these on there. Uh, no one cares and no one wants to know how eggs and beef and cheese and stuff are made in Taco Bell. No one should be eating there to begin with, but um, that's disgusting and no one cares. But there's just this huge um, need for this, I guess, in our, our world. One thing that I've, I see on my my feed, or I guess is what it's called. <clears throat> and I can't figure out a way to stop it because it's so annoying. Um, it makes me want to hurt things, uh, is these Island boys. I don't know if it's just me, uh, or if everybody is inundated with these two five foot four morons, but, um, these little sprouty hair guys that just got their head shaved the other day. And now they look even dumber, which is amazing to even consider. Um, you know, all tatted up with all these silly tattoos that are going to, and, and diamond and studded teeth and crap that are going to make them look so stupid in 10 years, if not already, uh, now as they do. That's kind of annoying. I hate the, uh, the videos. Oh, and the, the Island Boys, like they're supposed rappers, yet everything that they do has the same melody to that Island Boy, you know, it, it. Every, they just change words to that same melody. Like, that's not really being a rapper. That's just, you said one thing that somehow blew up and you're just, you know, making money off of that. Like, come up with some new material and show us that you're actually talented because so far we don't believe that you are. Now, currently they're on Cameo, which is that, I guess it's an app or whatever that you pay a celebrity a couple hundred dollars and they send you some personalized message. I guess that's how they're making a lot of their money, but... um I mean, that, that's kind of dumb. I, I couldn't imagine it being my birthday and someone sending me a cameo from the Island Boys that someone thought was a cool gift. I would be more angry that they paid them $400 to send this stupid thing to me, um, you know, so that they could go out and buy more stupid hair and tattoos and jewelry. Um, I hate the videos that uh, they have the, the words over it was, I know what it is. Ain't got no gas in it. That's so annoying. I want to shove my head through a wall. Um, oh gosh, I, I, I can't swipe up fast enough when I see that crap. Um, I've seen several videos where people throw rocks and chunks of concrete off of bridges. I mean, we were all kids once. We've all thrown rocks into bridges or into lakes and ponds and stuff because that's what you do when you're a kid. But I don't know why adults are fascinated by this. Um, you know, I, I know what's going to happen when you throw a 40 pound chunk of concrete off a bridge, it displaces water and makes a splash. It's, it's fascinating content. I can't believe that, um, people wouldn't want more of this, but, um, I find that dumb and, uh, drywall. Um, there's a lot of videos of people doing drywall and I enjoy the construction home improvement ones. Um, I think they're pretty cool watching people, you know, renovate stuff at, especially when it's sped up so you don't have to watch it forever. But watching somebody do drywall, whew, that's horrible, man. I, I framed in a wood shop in my basement and I did my own drywall and taught myself how to do it. Uh, the key, kids, is to put a light skim coat on. Don't don't put it on too thick. You'll be sanding all day long and it's just a pain in the butt. Um, and, and use the quick quick setting um, um, drywall mud too. That, that saves you a lot of time, obviously. But uh, I don't want to watch people do drywall. I don't understand why those people aren't alcoholics like painters, but at least watching paint with a paint gun is kind of fascinating. It's at least satisfying to watch something be painted, especially a car. 
Uh, but drywall, I, I I don't I don't get. Wow, you put tape over a seam. Oh, your mud. Oh, you're sanding it. Oh, it now it's ready for paint. Uh, it's it's weird that people would put that on there. There's a lot of uh, speaking of self-deprecation. There's a lot of people with colostomy bags that seem pretty proud of it. Um, no one wants to see you change your colostomy bag. In fact, keep it a secret that you even have one, and I'll be just fine. Um, that's disgusting. I'm sorry that you have that. Um, you know handicap, I guess, for lack of a better term, in your life, you know, because I'm sure you didn't ask for it and it wasn't something that you wanted, but uh, keep it to yourself and clean your little site and change your bag and all that stuff uh, in your own time. Uh, we don't want to see that on TikTok, but then again, apparently some people do, which is, that bothers me too. Uh, white boys, golly, man, these, uh, and I don't even know how to categorize this. I just know it when I see it, you know, these white dudes that like <clears throat> think they're up and coming rappers and they dress like idiots. They all look like heroin addicts and they just like live in and out of hotels and mooching off some girl who's, you know, got something going for her, but not much. She's probably the one with the job and they play video games all day long and, you know, smoke cigarettes and you know, menthol cigarettes and play video games and you know, eat Doritos and Mountain Dew and all, and it's, oh gosh, they're so stupid. And they all got neck tattoos and, you know, it, oh, it, it's it's a thing and it's it's quite annoying. Like, go get a job and do something with yourself. You know, wh where are you going? You know, where are you gonna be when you're 32? Nowhere, because you're nowhere now, you know? It's quite annoying. Um, uh, I, one of the things that's truly uh, aggravating is all the songs that they just play over and over and over. So I made a list. I'm just thinking with my dick, okay, that's quite annoying, that, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 I want to punch glass when I hear that. That shark, shark song, the kid shark, um, shark ba baby shark, shark baby, whatever it is. I didn't even know what that was until I heard it a few weeks ago. I'm like, oh, this is that stupid song that everybody's talking about how it's so annoying. It's kind of like, um, it seems to be like the modern version of the I love you, I love me, whatever, the uh, purple dinosaur, um, what's his name, Clyde? Barney, Barney, the Barney, it's like baby shark or shark baby, whichever, whichever one it is, um, is like the new version of that. <coughs> Catchy and annoying. My life be like, ooh, uh, that's, whoo. I want to punch things with that, that Machiavelli, bitches come and go, you know, I hate that, I hate that money make me handsomer, um, I hate that whatever that Nelly Furtado song is, and God, I thought we were done with Smash Mouth's All Star, and they play that every 14 seconds, you know, I had to live through that the first time, anytime that, that came on, uh, I couldn't change MTV or the radio fast enough, and now we have to hear it all the time, um, the only good side about it is typically when that song plays, someone's about to bust their ass or do something, take a, a shot to the face or something really dumb. Um, let's talk about fat people. And I'm not talking about people that have put on a few pounds because they're a little older. You know, that's just what the body does. But I'm talking about people that are just gelatinous mounds of um, obesity. Uh, people that are, you know, 450, 560, 780 you know, just enormous people that eventually we're going to have to take down a wall and use a forklift and a crane to get them out of their house when they die because their heart can't pump blood anymore. Um, it, it's it's fascinating how big people will let themselves go. You know, um, if, if you don't fit in cars and normal seats well um, and you have to use these special scales that the doctor that you see on that 600 pound life show. Like, it, and it, it's so easy, man. Like, you know, if you cut out all the soda and the carbs, like they can shed weight like that, man. Like losing weight when you're 600 pounds is really a lot easier than when you're 240. Um, you know, because you have so much just excess weight that is created by all the crap that you ingest on a daily basis. I mean, the, cal the caloric intake of some of those people, but I don't know why that, that it's, and maybe it goes back to the whole likes and money and monetization and whatnot, but some of these people should be embarrassed about how big they've let themselves get. Um, uh, and it's, it's just really, really gross, but no one seems to care. And of course we've, 
we've taken this whole world and we've normalized it that that being fat is okay and it bothers me to no end because you know it's one thing if you're an adult and, and you know you're 42 and you're like ah screw it i'm just gonna lay in bed all day and eat cheetos and be 580 okay cool you know that's that's your lot in life but you know when you start pushing it on the kids and you know when i was a kid i think i went to mcdonald's maybe once every like six weeks or something like that was a special occasion and uh you know, this is just a fast food world that we live in. You know, you're, you're eating that stuff once every other day or something as a meal. And um, that stuff catches up to you, man. So you got to watch out. Um, you better not shout. Um, you better not pout. I'll tell you why. But anyway, um, <clears throat> then there's uh, backyard wrestling, backyard fighting. Um, that's kind of annoying, um, the, the, the wrestling um, and, and there's people on there that like get on like they're professional wrestlers and they've made these homemade belts and yell at the screen and then they'll yell at other TikTokers and they like argue and whatnot. But I've seen some of the backyard fighting, which is kind of cool. They make these, you know, octagons that are homemade and they actually get in there and, and, and do business on each other. And some of it's even bare, bare knuckle and all. So that's kind of cool. But the wrestling, man, I, there, there comes a time when you got to stop watching wrestling. Um, I think that's a, uh, a youthful thing. I, I, I watched the NWA. I was never a WWF fan in the eighties, but I watched NWA on Saturdays and, and I think Mondays, maybe, um, there was like ACW or some, there was some other thing out of the Omni in Atlanta. But, um, I watched that till I was about 12 and then it was like, all right, this is fake and dumb time to move on. It's weird to me that, that people still follow that stuff, but whatever, you know, whatever. Um, there's people that are fake counselors. Um, if you don't have a degree and don't know what you're talking about, stop acting like you're, you know, some God's gift to, to helping people out and whatnot. And you're some holier than thou. You got all your crap in a row and everything's straight and you're trying to help people out. I, I, I get the altruism, but it falls on deaf ears because you're, you're an idiot and people are laughing at you. That's why they're, they're, they're liking your videos, not because you're giving any kind of, um, actual good input on, on their life's problems and whatnot. Um, poor people. And what I mean by that is people that live in absolute squalor, okay? Um, people that live in like outbuildings that have an extension cord run to it with, um, you know, bare floors. Uh, there's no, there's just particle board floors. They've got a mattress thrown on the floor and one lamp, you know, they're, they're, eating off a hot plate and their furniture has been stained with um, years of nasty abuse of nastiness. And uh, I, I don't know why that, why that wouldn't embarrass you to no end, but um, that, that's really strange. Um, it usually accompanies bad dental care as well. Those two things same, seem to kind of go hand in hand. Um, you know, I don't, I don't like the bait and switch videos where they um, have you believing that you're about to watch one thing and then they switch it up and it's something completely stupid. Or watch part two or part three, I hate that. You know, if it's if it's, it says part one or part anything, I go to the next video because I don't have time to play your little games where you just string something out. But they'll have, you know, these bait and switch things where they'll have like a dude with like uh, a two, two, three round in his hand and he's got a hammer and he keeps, you know, like he's gonna hit it. And you're stupid enough to sit there like, oh, this is going to be funny. He's going to blow his hand off. Um, and then it never happens. And I don't know why I fall for that, but that, that gets on my nerves as well. I hate these videos of simple tasks. Um, you'll, you'll get in there and it'll be like, how to tie a square knot. And you're like, why am I watching this? And why did someone make a video of how to do a square knot? Stupid. And the last thing that, that I really get annoyed with are these so clearly faked videos, these and it's it's always these fake married couples. They look like they're in their mid, you know, their late twenties, early thirties. And it's like, hey, babe, come in here and uh, reach your hand in this bag. What? Okay. What would you like me to do? And it's uh, and then there's some stupid crap, and you know, it, it's just so stupid. Um, it's so fake. Um, people that like walk in a room and the guy's like hiding and he's got like a bucket of water over the door and he's spruit. And I'm like, y'all stage this to get likes. There's no way that you're doing this just to do this because any woman that got a bucket of like Cairo syrup dumped on her head once would, um, put the kibosh on any further, um, 
you know, pranks done in the household. I mean, that's just stupid, okay? Um, I, I don't appreciate that. However, there are some things that I do like. Uh, the number one thing is carton arcs. If you haven't seen carton arcs, it's this dude that goes around and, you know, basically just gets in arguments with people in parking lots for people that don't return their carts. Um, and I totally agree with him. Uh, screw those people. Um, screw those people that uh, just leave their carts wherever they want. And um, it's great. His YouTube channel is awesome, and I like his videos on TikTok. Uh, any kind of home improvement, like I said, woodworking, um, I, I metalworking, welding. I love all those videos. Those are great. Uh, home remodels, all that kind of stuff. I love street fights. Anything that's like world star, um, people just want to throw down and show how weak they are um, at fighting. I love it even, especially when people run their mouth and they get knocked the hell out. Um, that's great. Um, Ricky Berwick, um, who's like this... Um, you know, disfigured, you know, guy that, you know, can't, he has to like crawl on the ground because of the way his um, birth defects have affected his um, mobility and whatnot. But he makes some really good comment uh, content. He's, he's really, really funny. I saw him first on Tosh.0. Oh. And, and uh, along those lines, there's a lot, a lot of people with birth defects. There's one dude that's got like his head, like in this position, the back of his head is touching his neck and he looks that way and he walks around. There's people with like one leg is so short that the foot comes up to the knee on the other leg. Um, there's this one girl that's got like a foot that faces the wrong way and it's like this much too short. Um, they have to wear lifts that are like, you know, 14 inches tall just to be able to walk. There's people with, you know, um, you know, hardly any arms. There's, there's several people in there with no arms or legs. And they, it's fascinating to watch what they can do with just their neck and, and mouth and all. Um, it's, that's, that's crazy. It's like, it's like people that learn how to paint with their feet because they don't have arms. Like, it's astounding what the human condition can make itself do when, when necessary. But there's a lot of birth defects, a lot of birth defects, a lot of uh, mutated faces and all that stuff. And again... I don't know why this stuff pops up on my feed because I've talked to other people and they don't have that stuff. It's all like puppies, you know, wrestling with each other and, you know, dandelions blowing in the wind and, you know, cats, um, you know, chewing on yarn and all this silly crap. Uh, but mine isn't like that. Um, and the last thing that I really enjoy are the uh, slap fights. <laughs> these championships where these dudes will stand at like a an over-the-top arm wrestling table and just slap the ever living piss out of each other. And uh, I don't quite know what the rules are, but I guess if you stand there and you don't get knocked out, then you survive to the next round and then they hit each other. And I think they wear mouthpieces, I'm not quite sure, but um, that stuff is is gold. Um, that, that's really fun to watch. But, but again, I, I think that there's, um, it's just a weird mix of there's some desperate people out there and there's some really strange people out there and there's people that got more money than God too that um, don't do things well with it. Um, and there's people that have nothing, not even a pot to piss in and other than a cell phone to put TikTok videos on. So that's kind of my uh, synopsis of the first month or so of reviewing. I will say this, um, admittedly, it is a, a great way to pass the time when you're just sitting around in a doctor's office or a bus station or on a park bench, whatever life brings you, uh, and you just have nothing to do. Um, it's kind of like a, a sped up version of YouTube that you don't need to listen to. You know, you're not watching a video that needs sound and all that stuff. It's kind of, kind of neat in that sense. But at any rate, I'm sure that as I go forward, there will be more, um, oddities and weirdness, uh, thrown into the mix of, whatever I've done to askew my, uh, tick tock, talk, tick, tick, tock, tick, tock, tock, um, algorithm. So cheers. Giddy up.